The latest report on U.S. national infrastructure by the American Society of Civil Engineering, who test and report every four years on this, gave Americans roadways, bridges, airports, all of these were graded a D plus by the society. Now, aging infrastructure is an urgent issue, but there doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency. The abysmal rating could be contribute to the U.S. not spending as much on these projects as China or India. They both dole out 5% of their GDP on infrastructure alone. Now, this report surfacing after that fatal Amtrak crash outside of Washington, D.C., that area that killed eight people. Um, you know, Jose, this is such a major issue, and it it's is. so overlooked by both parties, um, yet it's one single issue that affects all of us, both economically and physically, and it's disgusting that we're comparing our infrastructure to that of developing countries when we're one of the wealthiest, most prosperous nations on the earth. Uh, well, maybe we stop building infrastructure in Middle Eastern countries and we spend some of that money back here and <laughs> fix the roads. The, the facts are staggering. First, it's known that by 2020, every single port in the country will be operating at double their capacity. The amount of billion of dollars that we waste in productivity by people being stuck in highways, commuting to their jobs, it's insane. And like that, we can go to natural disasters. Right now, we're seeing in Texas, the amount of rain infrastructure can't hold it. So the, the cities are collapsing. Austin, Houston, we've seen it in Katrina. It's the perfect storm. I mean, all we need is it another is. Katrina for the, you know, I mean, God only knows like what that could, the type of damage that yeah. that could do to a city if uh, the correct infrastructure isn't in place. Um, you mentioned um, various issues. It seems like this is always in the news. There's always something about a bridge collapsing, um, about a structure that can't hold its weight anymore. Um, this fatal Amtrak you know, crash that killed eight people. Um, something, one thing after another, after another, and the states are blaming the federal government. The federal government saying, hey, we don't have the money. I love your point made. We should stop giving all of this aid out, trying to rebuild, it. you know, obviously we need to be rebuilding Iraq because we destroyed it, but um, But the thing is, maybe beyond the money, beyond the money, because if they get funds and they say, well, there is a federal grant for this, there's a federal grant for that, but it seems like mm -hmm. there's no plan looking into the future, saying, well, what is going to happen with the amount of people that is going to be living in this country in 50 years? How are we going to approach and tackle that problem? The issue is that we keep selling cars, we keep you know, growing mm -hmm. as a nation, but the roads, they're not getting any, not, not only improvement, but transcendence. We need to look into the next century Stop of people Stop putting a Band-Aid on it. Exactly. Let's create a plan of infrastructure for this country. Nixon did the biggest move on infrastructure, and since then, there's nothing that happened. Republicans used to push these issues really, really hard, and now they're the first ones to cut down on federal spending on, on these issues. So it's, you know, it's hard. Well, the society said that $3.6 trillion would be necessary by 2020 in order to get us where we need to be. Let's hope we start seeing some of that money coming in to fix our roadways. Let us know what you think about this issue. Please log on, post your comments below. While you're at it, subscribe to the Lyft TV too.